Hello, welcome to another edition of Tech Talk. Today I'm going to talk to you about the newest firmware update for the PS3. We're now onto firmware 2.1. Now you may remember one of my former podcasts was in anticipation of firmware 2. There was just so much we were you know, looking forward to getting in it. Some of which we actually got. For example, we got some nice themes for backgrounds and you know it's more fun to use. Um, it's easier to group videos. It became more, more usable. But we didn't have the kind of some of the features we were wanting. Now, just a, a couple of days ago, we have a major one for me, an absolute major one. We can play DivX and Windows Media Video on our PS3, which means we can also play high definition uh, versions of that, which you know would be great if we want to see recorded TV shows, things like that. Now, like a lot of people, I have a big library of DivX or XVID, which also works. It's not so different between the two, and. Uh, it's great to see it on the big screen, HDMI, everything out, everything upscaled to the big LCD or plasma if you have that. Just great. You know, it's really, really bringing on the, uh, you know, the evolution of this PS3 to being a total media center. And I believe the PS3 could be the best media center around. Um, one thing is, it's got this visualization of music. There's a new one called Earth. And you look at it, it's just beautiful. You have the whole Earth, you know, in 3D, uh, rotating, seen from different angles, uh, in space, close up, whatever. It's, it's really nice, and it really uses the, um, the power of the PS3, you know, much better than, than the other ones did. I'm not sure it's my favorite of them all. It's a bit, you know, literal, but it's very nice. Then we have some other things, like there's a new kind of mip mapping. Mip mapping is... Uh, a way it treats the audio, sorry, bit mapping, so it treats the audio to make it like a high definition audio file. So you may see with the video, it's upscaling your video. You put in like a DivX or a DVD or whatever, and it upscales to, you know, 1080p, 720p to your screen. Something similar can happen with audio, and the bit mapping does it. There's a new version, version 3, that seems to me to sound better. Now, why does it sound better? It just seems like the it's clearer, the instruments are more separate, and uh, the bass is deeper. Uh, it's, it just sounds better. And I'm doing this with a, testing this with a Super Audio CD. Now, not many people listen to Super Audio CDs, but in the classical and jazz, it's still very popular. It's high resolution music, the same way that Blu-ray is high resolution video, and it only caught on in you know some kind of you know certain niche market. But the bit mapping three is a way of of uh, playing the the old Super Audio CD as a PCM, as you know the re more regular audio, and this this new bit mapping seems to be better at doing it. It just sounds a lot better, so I'm quite pleased for that. I'm I'm pleased that the they they're generally evolving all different different sides of the PS3 together, and um, DivX is a major jump. So I'm you know, pleased to have that. And I'll be showing that a lot, having you know high definition DivX or upscale DivX at my fingertips. So thank you, Sony. And I'm looking forward to what new adventures we're gonna have with the PS3 to come. Bye bye for now.